day there as a multitude of different religions upon the earth. Religions are institutions, religious institutions born uh, created by men. But there is the holy faith, there is the word of instruction, there is he who created the heavens and the earth and has sent his apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and established his kingdom on the earth even being the purchase price of redemption with his own flesh and blood his holy breath is sanctified and makes alive and today the king of glory is to hold my pride. The tithe, the holy tithe, was established to give support for the work of Jehovah on this earth. Abraham was greeted by the priest of the Most High, Melchizedek, who was the king of of Salem, and he was the king of priests, and he was the king and priest of, of Salem. And he was the priest of the Most High. And Abraham gave him a, a tenth of all his increase from rescuing the people from the five kings who had taken the captives. Father spoke to Moses and instructed the children of Israel concerning the holy tithe, uh, how to have, there was a three year cycle and how to there be meat in his house where the priests would not labor for their own inheritance, for their inheritance is Jehovah. And he said, in that place where I caused my name to be, there you shall bring your holy tithe. We often remember that. It seemed like every creature goes from the Malachi about the will of man and law of God. And about the ties and all. But I have found that every institution, whether they believe in Jehovah or not, requires a, a tithe. 10% to join the club. But is it holy unto Jehovah? Is your life dedicated in holiness to He who created you for His purpose, by His will? The only way you can know is if you hear from Him concerning His purpose, His direction for your life. Today many argue about the tithe, saying that's Old Testament. And I always say, it's a covenant. And if you don't have a covenant with Jehovah, then this doesn't pertain to you. But if you have a covenant with Jehovah, if you recognize that Jesus died on the cross and paid the price of your redemption, that though you were a slave to the devil, then now you have received the right to be free and to walk in newness of life. And then you enter into a covenant with him. I, I remember when I was a, a young man and I first began to go to a church and and I was a servant of, ser of a servant. Yes, I was a gardener's helper and I feel like I was, a, I was too poor to pay tithes. But one day when I was blessing, I found a part of the business sandwich, he spoke to me and told me to pay my tithes and I've been paying my tithes ever since. It's a covenant, and it's a covenant established with uh, understanding, you know, meeting of minds. When you, you get the, a, a fully informed decision, and you, you agree, and then you enter into a covenant. When you enter into a covenant with your Creator, with your Father in Heaven, and you become His child, then there's a way circumspect to walk that you don't bring shame to His name. When you enter into a covenant of everlasting life, it means you pass from being a servant, a slave of the devil, 
and become a free to be a child of glory, a free to be a child of righteousness, a free to be a child of a creation of the Most High, which every one of us is. Every one of us, when, no matter what nation you're, I don't care what religion you're up to, you were created by Him created the heavens and the earth, the everlasting one. Yeah. But are you in covenant with Him? Is your life dedicated to holiness unto Jehovah? Today, I come with a message concerning the tithe that the King of Glory, He desires the support for His bride. For this generation, the King, He says, Behold my bride. It is a time that was prophesied a long ago. There's going to be a wedding. It says, the 45th Psalm says there's going to be a wedding. And the queen ordained with, 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 with gold of fear. She's going to leave her father's house and come to Israel. And there are two houses chosen for the wedding. There's a house for the bride and there's a house for the groom. And this generation, this generation, the rise of the kingdom of the south, is at hand. It's going to be all that which is written in the book of Daniel concerning the warring between the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. But this generation come the bride and all the world shall know the voice of the bride and the bride from all the world shall know that this one who created the heavens and the earth lives and dwells among us. Imagine well. Jehovah is with us and is for us. And here and now, now the, the holy tithe, it, it was given, this is a three year cycle, and then you couldn't neglect the poor, you couldn't neglect the poor and say you're paying your tithes. You, one, at every third year, you're supposed to take care of the stranger, you're supposed to take care of the widow, you're supposed to take care of the orphan. And if you've done that, then you could say, I, I've done it, I have to see, I've paid my tithes, I've bought everything, my tenth of everything into Sora House. But now, we have many religions talking about tithe, and many don't even speak of Jehovah, or even the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody wants some money, but it's the Holy Dishonor to Jehovah, and the only way you can know is if you know His voice. And thus I bring this word that seek and you shall find shall hear for yourself. Pray. And if, if you pay tithes, if you have a covenant in gratitude for what Jesus did at the cross, then ask him what he would do. Be done with his tithe. And then you know you've done well. Bless this holy name. Amen.